Zombies and Daryl and that bitch Carol, <laughs> along with the virus that's killing everyone. Tyrese, that black guy, and then there's that white guy who's a redneck and he has a crossbow. Walking dead, gonna talk about the episode. Lots that's... of stuff happened in the episode. It is the Walking Dead. It is the Walking Dead. <laughs> Okay, so. that is terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> I like my line. Hey, welcome to the discussion of Walking Dead. I'm Oxnard with a cold. I'm Dexter without a cold. I'm boss. I never get sick. And this uh, this episode was called Indifference. Indifference. Wow, that was a good episode. I was indifferent <laughs> about it. You don't like any episodes. I'm just kidding. It was, it was oh, it's called Indifference. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, I thought... <laughs> I understood the joke, but I thought you meant it it's as better well. than the other episodes. We have two stories going on: Rick and Carol going out uh, for mm-hmm. a run, yeah. and then uh, finding out what's going on with Daryl and the others. I think I finally um, figured out the name of my favorite character, Tyrese. Yep, Tyrese. Okay. Yeah, I think that's because uh, the guy because they said it like fifty times. So yeah. It's kind of hard not to. Tyrese is really fucking up here. I feel like. <laughs> well, I find he's that, annoying me. Well, I find him the most interesting from what I've seen. He seems like he's very conflicted with different things that's why i like him i feel bad for him i also feel like all right come on suck it up here i you know what it was because he was such like a strong character and now he's like you know we were watching him in this moment of weakness he's stressed it's just but he's just i feel like he's gonna get everyone killed i thought this was interesting with the car because carol has a lot of knives <laughs> i mean who needs that many knives can never have and too they're many all knives. like perfectly clean it's like she spends time and just like was polishes them every night you know well let me say this too i uh <laughs> i really little... like this episode because uh leading up to carol being banished um <laughs> by rick mm-hmm. uh i was so like hating carol so much the entire episode mm-hmm. uh which i you know uh, i guess that was the whole point of the episode right. you see everything from rick's point of view he has the flashbacks or he's envisioning what carol did when he's walking mm-hmm. through the cells when she killed the two people and dragged their bodies out uh-huh. um and then she's making the decisions going against what rick just said right. uh with those weird people that he finds in that yeah. house the two I was hippies like, Some, yeah, I, was yeah. So, I did not trust those people all me time. neither I, was like, I don't trust anybody yeah i don't trust anybody at <laughs> you don't all. want to meet me in See, a zombie I, apocalypse I, I, tr- and I will not trust you i will have a gun on I you did not trust at all them times at all. i trusted them but i would not trust them to come with me but i didn't think they were bad people <laughs> I just think they were very inept. And they Clearly. Were, yeah, so they're not going to help out. Uh, what, you know why I didn't trust it? Because how <laughs> long have they been surviving? And they, they're in a house locked in the bathroom for two days. There's one zombie there. They have Ooh. guns. Two days. They have guns. With 12 rounds or something, I think they mentioned. So they're that bad. I can only assume they're they that were... bad. You can walk up to the zombie and shoot it in the head. I like, can only assume they were in there you're in with you know drugs, I mean? and they were doing drugs for two days, and they just ran out the second they showed <laughs> they, up. They like dropped peyote or something, and then uh, <laughs> oh. and then they didn't know if the zombie was real or not. And that girl's foot was really gross. Oh, <laughs> oh good thing she freak. had it cut off. Oh, yeah, know, that yeah, right. freaked me out. Thank goodness the zombies fixed it because it was it was gross when it was on her yeah, leg. Well, they didn't even want to touch it. <laughs> Oh, like, yeah, Ew! Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, oh, goodness. Now, uh, the thing there's in one part heal? with, um, what's the guy, the redneck's name? Daryl. Daryl and Tyrese, their whole little section there. Yeah. They're in, like, some part that has, like, a morgue or it's, like, a learning center. No, it's a vet hospital. No, that's a right? vet hospital. Yeah. Okay, and so they're saying, like, we can't go or near them. school, I think, actually, like, college. Yeah. If we even right, breathe in the college. air... They're going to get infected? Is that no, because, a new thing? So, yeah, so what happens is they go, when uh, Daryl and the group, they, they do make it to the um, to the veterinary school or whatever to get the supplies. Right. But then, um, you know, of course, like, they uh, trigger uh, a horde and um, and they're being attacked. And, and uh, at, when they're stuck in that one room in front of the gymnasium doors that are chained, yeah. uh, they take that path instead because the zombies that are coming towards them, their eyes have bled. They, those people died from the uh, illness that's been spreading. So they're saying, you know, and it's it's close quarters, um, and if anything sprayed on them, uh, Mm. you know, or anything like that, then they could be infected too. So that's why they chose to avoid those zombies and deal with the other ones, Mm. Um, which they made it seem like there were a lot more in that gym. Turned out there were like three. But uh, (laughs) but I saw... Yeah, I know. I was like, oh my God, this is a gym full of of walkers (laughs) 
this is gonna be nuts. Uh, but it was like three. three. Just <laughs> one, oh, I liked when the when they were uh, trying to figure out what to do. One zombie walking towards him like trips over a desk. And falls. <laughs> no, if you that keep watching, awesome. he keeps flopping over stuff. It was, it was getting pretty. That was funny. great. I didn't notice that. Yeah. And then the other one with Rick, hilarious. she just tumbles down the stairs. Oh yeah, that was funny yeah. too. Um, but yeah, Carol was fucking pissing me off to no end this episode. So I was, I well, applauded Rick's gone. decision, and I felt like he gave her too much stuff. Fuck yeah. Carol. Oh, yeah. I honestly, I'm surprised they did that. I seriously thought he was going to kill her. Oh, I thought really? I when she was, was turning yeah. around to go to the car, I thought they were going to have a show. He was going to go. I thought he was going to shoot her, and you were just going to see her blood, you know, the fake CG blood fly out. She's gonna fall down. <laughs> And uh, you know, and they 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 make you know she's she's trying to rationalize her actions, um, you know basically. Yeah. I mean, you can't have that kind of behavior. Oh. You know what I mean? That what yeah. Carol was doing. She well, can't just decide on her own to kill people. Yeah, well, it's stemming from her abusive relationship, and she's dead set on never making that mistake again in all facets of her life. I guess. I think so. There's other stuff that you didn't see too that okay. happened um, with her um, and with her daughter. Uh, but uh, you know, so I think that that all plays a part too. And they talk about the uh, you know abusive relationship she had. Okay. But uh, and then she like tries to say, "Well, you did this, Rick, or whatever." But Rick was in a situation where he was defending himself. Right. Carol killed <clears throat> innocent people. Like you know, yeah, they were sick. Obviously, Just her really actions didn't yeah. do anything. And she has that kid doing spread. something in there, right? The little girl. I know that kid's gonna fucking stab somebody now that they she shouldn't probably. Because uh, she's learning from from Crazy Carol, right? But mm-hmm. I was, I mean, I was glad that Rick did that. Although yeah. he he basically made a decision all on him his own without consulting anybody hey, either. It's a rictatorship, it, okay? <laughs> this isn't a democracy. It's a rictatorship. Ah, uh, then the drunk guy, as we said once before. Oh yeah, yeah. His alcoholism almost kills everyone. Do you like? <laughs> I would have thought by now he would have been better dealing with it because it's been a long time since he's had yeah. a drink. It seemed so. You'd think he'd have more. Self control. Yeah, well, they're he's like... with this group, another group though. Maybe that triggered it because he's thinking something bad is going to happen to them, and it is. Yeah, I know, but I was just surprised because he had that whole conversation with Daryl, and like they bonded, talking about how you know this is the reason why he's saying he's blaming himself for that kid getting killed. It's my fault because because uh, I I'm, you know he slammed I, the bottle on the right, shelf and because uh, I was weak and I wanted the re- whole reason I went was to get a drink. Um, and all that stuff, and then he said that. Yeah, he said the oh, reason okay. he went on the big was because he wanted. I'm pretty sure he said that because he wanted like uh, to find something like that, alcohol. And then, uh, you know, but then he slammed the whole bottle down and brought everything down and got that kid killed and everything. Hmm. And Daryl's like, "Don't you know that's not your fault? You can't blame yourself." Remember on oh, Battlestar, well. they would make their own kind of like moonshine yeah. and yeah. stuff. Can't they? Can you figure out a way to do that? Make like a distillery in <laughs> oh, the base? They would definitely. Yeah, you probably could. You take apple juice and you put it in the ground for. Months. I think you just take anything Done. that can ferment and put yeast in it, and you can right. Yeah. Get ethanol out of that. Right. Um, would you like when when Daryl <laughs> like when Daryl goes like nose to nose on that guy? <laughs> oh yeah, when Daryl gets pissed. Oh yeah. He gets Watch all, out. He gets. I, I thought he I gets was. I angry. thought and was hoping. <laughs> That he was gonna push him. Yeah, over. he's gonna push him. He's gonna push him into that like zombies waiting. It's a little weird. That or start kissing weird. him. Out a little of close. Nowhere. Hey, you're gonna tell me that that wouldn't intimidate you though? It would. It Some would. guy like, suddenly come because like, you're like, uh... what are you doing? I don't know. Yeah, am I gonna get kissed? <laughs> yeah. Am I you know? Get yeah. Kissed right now? <laughs> he doesn't look like he wants to kiss yeah. me. <laughs> like, is this? Does this mean that I might be raped later? <laughs> I mean, yes, we does. do live in a prison. <laughs> I don't know. Martin is territory. This makes me feel uncomfortable. Is he claiming me right now? Seriously, they're like that was like dog behavior. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> nose to nose with a hick. It's bad news. <laughs> Daryl's awesome though. Oh yeah, I like <laughs> Daryl's the shit. He's like, no, I'm not dealing with this shit. He takes his gun. Yeah. I seriously thought he's gonna throw him over. Uh, yeah, but uh, then they have that nice long awkward ride home. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he just pissed off. It'd be funny if Daryl was drinking <laughs> while they were driving. Yeah, I thought they were gonna cut to him, and he's just like. Taking his alcohol. Uh, you no, won't have a drop of back. this. He gives the bottle oh, back. Yeah, to he him. does. He does. Yeah, yeah, I thought the guy he gave. I oh, thought the, guy. the drunk guy. Oh, I thought you meant Daryl would have had the bottle. No, no, no. Like, yeah, and he'd be like, "This that's is I so thought. good." That's what I, yeah, that's what I <laughs> thought. The guy behind him. I'm so drunk right now. Oh, I feel great for once. It's been months since I felt this great. Yeah. Oh, thank God for this delicious alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like how Tyrese is. Uh, 
is being like really reckless and so he's had it man he's snapped he's had it he's at his wits end has this ever happened to you have you ever just had it oh yeah all the time <laughs> yeah i've had it right now every <laughs> every wednesday at I like, you know, 6 25 like screw it all i've had it i'm going home <laughs> every day i wake up before i have to go to work that's how exactly how i feel <laughs> I've had, i'm in the shower scrubbing I'm in the shower i've had it scrub yeah. myself one off. more day i'll give it one more day things don't pick up oh man oh god <laughs> This is my life. This is my fucking <laughs> life. One more day, man. Shit. And I like the little story they made for these four zombies who all committed suicide together. Yeah, that together. was sad. It was sad trying to show... Uh... I think people forget that, that these You're, zombies... You... People get so excited about, oh, right, the zombie apocalypse, it's going to be awesome. I think people forget how yeah. horrifically traumatizing it's going right, to be, right. especially when you see your loved ones changing well, and stuff that, like that. And that was a theme of this episode, I thought, because the little girl is talking about how... You know, like Carol has to explain that these aren't people, they're not people anymore when they're right. walkers. You have to understand that, you know, and then and then when they see these people at the gas station, they reinforce that point because uh, they're talking about how, you know, these people were a family, they committed suicide. So you see the pictures of them, you know, it humanizes the walkers again. Mm-hmm. And that, because that, that was something too that I think they brought up in the second season that you didn't see Alex Nard. Um, but, uh, you know, and then they kind of go, they stray away from that because you're on the same journey that they are. Right. So then, you know, you don't think of them as people. You just think of them as walkers and monsters. But then you're reminded, well, these were human beings. They had lives. They were mm-hmm. parents. They were, you know, sons and whatever. So it's uh, that yeah. was like a strong theme of this episode. Remember the uh, the trailer for that game, Dead Island? That's uh, it's all like oh, reverse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I think, I would say that's the best video game trailer, like, ever made. The game is horrible. <laughs> But the trailer was <laughs> so good. I th- I, everyone looked yeah, that up and watched it. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. All right, do you want to read comments from last week? Let's do it. Yeah, hold on. Let me get a beer. All right, so these are the comments from last week. This is, like, I think the most comments we've ever had on any video we've ever done. Wow, yeah. Really? <laughs> record. So, so uh, record. yeah, keep were leaving they comments. they good or bad? Should oh, I they're be all, nervous? They are all good. I only read the first two. I, I don't know the rest. It might be bad, but let's, no, take, all good. let's take the good with the bad. Pretty sure all right, all right, all right. Pretty sure I don't take it. criticism well. <laughs> Ergo Slav says, after that intro, I've also had the early edition tune in my head. Uh, he's referring to the oh. Family Matters theme we did. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the Gummy Bears theme. Hope someone gets that. <laughs> yeah, gummy <but> Bears! <laughs> I, too, am surprised you don't have more listeners as your TV show commentary is great and Boss is great DM on your D&D campaign. Oh, yeah! Oh, boss! Well, All right! Yeah. Yes, D&D! Uh, then there's Slocum. There's Slocum! Uh-huh. Thanks for the mm, shootout. Slo- I think you meant shout out. Yep. Yeah, shoot out. You it's, got it, man. It's pronounced slow cum. Yes. Slow Try cum. being 13 years old with that name. No, thank you. Uh, you said you guys should <laughs> consider a podcast. Is that his then... first name or his last name? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think his first name I'm starts with slow cum and Johnson. his last name is slow cum. I don't know. Slow cum uh, Cunningham. Thoughts on zombie survival? <clears throat> yes. Get lightweight shark chain mail from a dive store. Right. Swords get dull after a couple of decapitations. Yeah. A good bludgeoning weapon is actually superior. I agree. Stealth I like is bludgeoning. key. Firearms are a last Stealth resort. Is key. Silencers only yep. work in movies. Exploit the zombie's slow movement. Climbing gear could save your life if you're I, cornered. I would, climbing gear. I would add that, that's a cool point. I would yeah. add that that stealth is key in all aspects of life, <laughs> especially <laughs> when sneaking up on Dexter, <laughs> making a <Constantly>. sandwich, <laughs> yep. going yeah. to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big stealth dumps. Oh yeah, what if somebody walks in? You know, scratching he, your he's, butt. His, his dumps never make a plop sound <laughs> when they hit the water. That's fantastic. He's so stealthy. Oh, no. Yeah, I was you thinking that. To like, keep that in. Imagine if that's in Oxnard. That's if you're out fault. in the woods and like you're getting like feral rabbits or whatever, and like there's a cliff face there, and out of nowhere, like a, you're surrounded by zombies. <laughs> How are you going to climb up? Oh, I was up? thinking the rabbits are attacking No, you, no, like, no. Well, that, in zo- my world, there would be zombie rabbits. Uh, if you don't they have any climbing fine. gear, how are you going to escape that situation? That's true. That's awesome. I don't know. you got to be careful. Yeah, but, so now, but then you gotta make, okay, you got to make a decision here. Are you constantly wearing the climbing gear at all times I would in think case you... a situation arises? Or are you being chased by a horde of zombies? Do you have time to put on the climbing gear? No, I would think on your belt you would want maybe like a chisel and like you know those nails you kind of put into the rocks. Mm. Not only is that a good weapon for zombies, <laughs> you can very quickly like, oh, they're coming, and you go clamp and you climb up the next one. That's true. From there, yeah, you have like some rope like Samwise Gamgee had on you, but he just needs some clamps. Oh, I was thinking like the whole thing, like you got like the boots, the boots with the spikes on the ends. You know, I think a tree would be different though. That's why I think tree makes more sense. 
Like you throw a rope up and you. Oh, like those leather pull straps. Up. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, true, true. Then it. Oh, it's it's all bear. is useful. It's all useful. <laughs> a rock face. What about a zombie bear? Are. Have you ever seen a bear climb a tree? Yes. It takes like 10 seconds. It's like... <laughs> well, it's like a ring-tailed lever. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like Newman climbing up to get a fur coat. <laughs> uh, say out of the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they haven't alluded to animals being a right. factor they here are. in this world, Not so yet. they don't seem to be. All right, what else we got? Oh, my God. I would just put animals everywhere. Humans would be the last zombie you want to... Would be the first zombie you want to run across. <laughs> like, zombie, like, oh, thank right, God, it's a right. human it's zombie. Zombie bison herd. Whoop. Oh my no, goodness. I mean... Zombie no, bison stampede! Honestly, I think the little fast things zombie would be the rhinos. worst. Zombie squirrels. Because, like, yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. And you said, you said rabbit, too, because... Well, we've talked about this before, You also. can't catch a rabbit. No. Well, imagine if the rabbit was trying to catch you. <laughs> you got no chance. That's true. What it's about like insects? Python. That's what we, we talked about. Is it only mammals? No, we discussed this. I, I Can there be zombie them. reptiles? Is it only mammals? They're not that quick, really. I would think of a mammalian brain. <laughs> That's true. I'm worried about the rabbit. <laughs> Zombie frogs. The rabbits are going to be They're terrible, real fast. You know? I would say, I would I would posit what about that birds? only mammals. They got big teeth, yeah, too. Yeah, I would say only mammals. I think mammals. it would only be mammals. I don't think that birds could be. It would become, be a mammalian become, plague. Yeah. That's why whales and orcas oh, and oh, if, dolphins. If, like if dolphins. birds were... If zombie new, dolphins. They, they found that new species uh, in Australia, humpback <laughs> right. dolphins. They're gone. They're zombies. Indisputable just a new, proof of Just Bigfoot. a new kind of dolphin right. to try and eat your flesh. Indisputable proof of Bigfoot, in my opinion. Sharks? They're already kind of zombies for us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> They'll eat anything. Tiger <laughs> sharks will, anyway. What else we got? All right, so Vank73, he's back. Hey, man. He just made a time, and he said, LOL, because I, I was making fun of uh. him. No, he was saying he missed the cartoons, and I said, oh. why don't you draw the fucking cartoons? And, I said, <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, thanks for the recognition, guys. No hard feelings here. I just enjoy your Game of Thrones stuff, too. All right. Don't apologize to this uh, asshole, Don't apologize Oxnard. to Oxnard. Don't worry Did about I apologize? it. You should bash him back. No, no, he apologized. Yeah. No, we're saying he should insult you. He said you. no hard feelings here. Yeah, we're saying he should insult you. Oh, he's you. saying don't worry about it. Yeah, no oh. one's apologizing. Look, I, thought he was, I thought he was apologizing. I was like, he shouldn't be fucking no, apologizing. No, men do not apologize. We're no. always right, even if we're wrong. Especially in the zombie Especially apocalypse. when we're wrong. <laughs> we're right. Uh, so Claire says... <laughs> we just... Now, <laughs> like, we just in- reinforced the point that we're always right, and men are great. Now Claire said... <laughs> now Claire says... So I'm washing the dishes, listening to your show. My husband walks into the kitchen and says... Are they talking about you? Why are they asking you to dance? <laughs> hey, buddy. Back off. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> yeah. Other news. Did you know AMC are developing a Walking Dead spinoff show for 2015? It's supposed to be unrelated to the current show. What would you what? guys like to see, and oh. where do you think it Are you serious? Oh, what would we like to see? I think I know. I heard of that, like, last year or something. Yeah. I can't um, believe it. I thought we what were joking I like about to it. See. What the hell kind of spinoff would they have? Well, remember my idea where I thought each season should be a new group of people? Yeah, they could. So maybe I, see, I think I think they should go to another part of the world. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like uh, I liked your Japan idea. Was that Oxnard's or Boss's idea? That was my idea. Yeah, what do you had like a densely? You had like that just somewhere with like a densely, yeah, like densely Beijing. Populated, yeah, China, my theory India, was Japan. that all most of the Japanese would just go into the water and drift <laughs> to the coast. That's, <laughs> That's what I right. thought would happen. Right. That's right. Because it's such a narrow strip of land. Because the thing about America, it's yeah, so. How long would that take, though? It would take weeks, but they'd survive weeks? in the water. I think that would take months, possibly. How long did Columbus take? That... You know what would be cool? This is <laughs> Wait, just... I well, he wasn't trying to get to, <laughs> yeah. to where he landed. It was I have all an idea. accident. I have an idea. He was in Puerto Rico or right. something. This could, was be, this could be a spinoff. In the Empire State Building, Like there's some, <laughs> there's some floors where there's humans like living, but there's other floors yeah, that was my other like, idea, full remember? with zombies. But yeah, they're not like... On the, they don't have to be on the top floor... It's just they have barricaded off like maybe like twenty floors and they have like no way out and it's just like a time, like so uh, they have to tight rope. Walk they only have a matter of time until they're out building. of like resources and they have to escape somehow. So it makes an interesting scenario, I think. Wait, hold on, I'm trying to find something here. Oh, oh, I was okay. So I just had an idea. I was like, oh, they should do something with like zombies, uh, like in a space mission, um. Or something, but then I realized, oh yeah, Ghosts of Mars was already made with Ice Cube. That's basically what that really? is. Really? Oh wow. Only that's like vampire no. kind of creatures. No, isn't no, it? Ghosts of Mars. They are possessed by ghosts. Oh, oh, right. Because there's like a temple that's I mean, on Mars. Get it, the title. get it right, man. Whatever. I'm so, saying it's too similar. And by it's the too way, too similar. And by the way, Ghosts of Mars is a classic. <laughs> 
that movie. I'm that, sorry. He that also likes uh, that movie. Gets zero yawns from me. Don't you also love Escape from L.A.? Yes, yeah. but I like Ghost Escape of Mars better than that. You like Escape from L.A. I don't know better why. than Escape I, from New York? I really like Ghost of Mars, but I still like Ghost of Mars. You, uh, you're saying Escape from L.A. is your number one, not no. not of New York. He's saying Ghost of Mars is. Yeah, Ghost of Mars is. Oh, I'm talking about Escape from L.A. better than Escape from New York? I don't know if I could differentiate that in my head. <laughs> well, one's in L.A., one's in New York. That's I think easy. I like Escape right from New York better. <laughs> New York is better. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I just wanted to okay. make sure there. I was watching The Thing with my fiance. And uh, future mother-in-law on Ugh. Halloween, right? Horrifying. Because it was like, oh, let's watch something scary. So I was like, well, this movie freaks the shit out of me. I love this movie. They, neither of them had ever seen it. Oh, both that's... were found. Both found it boring. Ah. We couldn't even finish it because my hands was falling asleep. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? That movie <laughs> freaks that me movie the hell out. Is the best... that's one of the best horror sci-fi mo- horror movies ever made. The tension. The paranoia. It's unbelievable. I, there's so much entertainment just the like studying like, it's fantastic. like who took the keys? Who took that blood? Who knows what? Who's <laughs> the thing anyone? Like, Why does Wilford Brimley know? not have a mustache? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many great things about the thing. I love that movie. If anyone ha- who's listening to this hasn't seen it. <laughs> the original. Absolutely watch John Carpenter's The Thing. The original. I don't know what. Well, the not hell the original, John Carpenter's. John Carpenter. The, the, well, the original original is good too, but I still. Consider I never saw that one, but the uh, John Carpenter one is so unique. I consider that an original in his. Oh in yeah, that's true. That's true. But absolutely, watch the movie. It's one. That's a classic. Yeah, and those effects, man, they got to keep those up. Uh, all right. So, Claire, we're gonna reenact your your little story there. Oh yeah. La la la, I'm washing <laughs> the dishes. Hey. Huh? Are they talking about you? Why do they want you to dance? Answer me! There you go, Claire. So if anyone <laughs> else wants to... Horrible. Write, <laughs> well, that's a little taste of what it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what her life is like. I don't know. <coughs> Next comment. <laughs> Mr. Capra Demon, this video reviews are freaking awesome. Funniest on YouTube. Keep him coming, happy face. All right, happy faces are good. And the last guy, Mickey oh. Moy. I like the reviews... But I think you're better at improvising and acting. Opinions? What are we acting? Opinions? I think he likes when we just make up commercials or little skits or Oh, jokes. he doesn't like that. No, he says, I, I oh, think you're that. better at improvising and acting. Oh, oh, I thought yeah, he said then than reviewing. acting. Than reviewing. Oh, then reviewing. Right. Oh, okay. I agree. Well, don't We're worry. Really There's going to be more of that More of that to come, I yeah, think. we'll do we've that. Been, uh, we've been working on some stuff. Yeah, and also watch our Let's Plays. That's all we're doing is improvising jokes and yeah. coming up with stuff on mm. the spot. Yeah, so Mickey Moy, and look forward to the future. We're going to be doing a lot of improvising, and our acting troupe will be coming to your town sometime yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's called Shooting the Shit with You. Shooting Acting. Sh- <laughs> um, all right, so here we're going to take uh, our commercial break. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Willie Day's here for the new corn now. Have you ever wanted corn? Now. Now you can have corn. Now. Get it today. Have you ever been in a situation where corn just cannot be attained? No, it can be. With corn now, corn is at the tip of your fingers. Listen to these testimonials. I was at a barbecue uh, a couple of weeks back at uh, Dave's house, and, uh, well, I mean, he had everything, a whole spread, uh, sausages, hamburgers, hot dogs, but uh, I looked around, and I found that there wasn't any corn around, and I, I, was, I was disappointed. But corn now gave me corn. Now. Thank you. Thank you, corn now. I was at a barbecue. It was pretty sweet. Some of my second cousins look all right. Then I was kind of hungry. I had a burger, a hot dog, some chips, but I needed some corn. I asked my brother, where's the corn? He said, in about 20 minutes. I want corn now! Yeah, uh, last weekend I went to a barbecue, and uh, there was a lot of good stuff. It was uh, for uh, my wife's, uh, it was my wife's boss's house, actually. Um, you know, and they had pretty good stuff. I mean, you know, you'd think they'd have some corn, since they're, they're pretty, they're pretty well off. But, uh, I mean, I was looking everywhere. All they had was that stupid little baby corn, you know, that you find in hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> well, that's just horse shit. I want corn now, and corn now gave it to me. Thanks, corn now! Yeah! Oh, yes! 
The other day, I went to my boss's wife's barbecue. They had such a variety of foods, all kinds of delectable delights. However, there was one lacking ingredient, corn. There was no corn to be found. So I went on the phone and ordered corn now. It was amazing. I loved it, don't you know? And then all the corn was there, and it was now. Corn now. Corn now burned me. So remember to order your corn now. Get corn now. You have to order it now. Corn now. I'm Willie Days with corn now. Now. What? Corn now is extremely hot. Should not be handled. Should not be eaten. Should not be touched. Do not think about corn now. Do not make corn now. Do not buy corn now. Technology for corn now is found in an asteroid from space. No one knows what it does. Just make sure you don't touch it. Don't consume the corn. Corn now. Corn now. 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 Corn now. Hey, uh, we're back. All right. So, predictions for next week's episode? Boss? All right. So, well, I don't have predictions for next week's episode. I have predictions for the future. He, oh, he just went, um, I have predictions. <laughs> oh, not for the episode, but for the future. I, I think, oh, I know. I don't think. I'm sorry. Carol's going to run into the governor, and something's going to go down with that. Now, this oh. governor character, I am not aware right. of. They don't were mentioned, Doc Snarr. I, I, was, I was curious as to what you were going to think. He's a protagonist. We'll say that. Okay, because <laughs> I, I assumed it was literally the governor of the state, and he made some choices that screwed everyone over. <laughs> no. <laughs> you couldn't be more dead on right. <laughs> okay. And by that, I mean incorrect. Awesome. I'll tell you this much. He has an eye patch. He sure Pre- does. Pretty cool, okay. huh? The governor is, let's just say, the governor is like one of the coolest nicknames you can have. That's pretty, All right, now, pretty much, yeah. I, have, I think I know who he is, because you used to come here and watch Walking Dead, but I would never pay attention. Oh, yeah? But I remember one <laughs> episode, this was years ago. Right. There was years a, ago? There was it a, wouldn't have been years ago, but <laughs> keep, going, keep going ago. with this. Keep going Last with this. Last year? A year or two ago? I think talking about second season. Oh, maybe you're talking about second good, season. Good, keep going. All right, go, go, go. It was a scene on a roof. Okay. A guy was chained to something on the roof. Oh, right, 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 right. That's not the governor. And I'm going to just pretend nope. that that's the governor. However, <laughs> no, however, no, that is however, the first season. Oxnard. That's like the third episode of Oxnard, the first season. However, however, that is my favorite character that you're talking about. I thought Daryl really? was. No, he's my favorite character. Well, he's close enough. <laughs> Daryl is Daryl is as close as you're going to get right. to, okay. this, to this oh, character. Oh, I forgot his name. What's his name? Merle. <laughs> Merle! <laughs> Merle. That's this is my Merle. favorite character of all time of the show. I the hell's his it. name? <laughs> what did he do again? <laughs> Why do I like this guy? What what show is this? Walking Head. That's hey, uh, so what are, your version. what are your predictions? <laughs> what are your predictions? Uh, well, I don't have any predictions. I like your prediction a lot, though. Mm. I was because I was trying to think of what was going to happen to Carol, and I, I assume I mean, uh, it's going to come back to bite Rick in the ass in some way, whether Carol returns. Um, gonna fly I think off the Car- scale. Carol looks seems like she's primed to like take over, like you know, and, and lead a group of her own the way that they've been setting it up. I, I think know, that, I hope not. I mean, I'm I'm not saying that that's a good idea for her, but uh, or the show. I'm just I'm, saying that's how it. That's the kind of impression that I got. I'm thinking that the governor has already met another group and he's like manipulating I don't them. Think that, I know, but I think that the governor would just fucking kill Carol if he saw her because. He, I don't she's think a, so. she's yeah, but she's part of that whole thing that ruined everything. No, for because him. the governor would know that if she said something, he'll kill her, and she's not gonna because of that. I, I think, think I don't know. The governor is like so batshit insane right now because the last thing that happened when we saw him. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Oxnard. He, he the is, governor know what the hell we're going on a, about here. That's a good description. Batshit insane. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he, he's a he's Batman. Just, <laughs> yeah, I wish that'd be awesome. Uh... That'd be amazing. If this is the if this universe is the same one that Bruce Wayne lives in, that would be incredible. Oh, that would there we go, Claire. That's my uh, si- uh, spinoff series. Although I the, feel like it's sorry, in go Gotham, yeah. the zombie apocalypse. Batman's fighting zombies. I feel like he would and then find he turns into cure. zombie and he becomes like a super zombie. I'm sure there's a comic I know. book. No way, Bruce happens. Wayne. I feel like though a problem with that is that Bruce Wayne would definitely find a cure. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. No, Alf, uh, what's his net face would whoever the scientist guy is. Oh, the, on the uh, movie oh, or the oh, cartoon. Oh, Lucius, the movies, right, right. Lucius? Oh, then Lucius Fox. Yeah, Lucius yeah. Fox. well, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, right. No, I'm going on like the cartoon comic book mm-hmm. one where it's it's right. uh, Bruce Wayne yeah, is also Bruce a Wayne's genius. A genius right. <laughs> he's a he's like a psychotic genius. Yeah. Um, uh, my predictions are 
first of all, I thought this episode was going to end with Rick like looking behind him, and then the other survivors were coming the oh, same way, and they were right. going to crash. I forgot about that. I, su- I thought he was going to... Right. I thought they were going to have a head-on collision. I thought it was going to end with like... Or a, <laughs> yeah, or a near miss. Yeah. Oh, I do have a... That's a good thought. I do have a little other thought. At the end, it's just Rick driving back. Maybe Rick never gets back. So he abandons his children? No. The whole reason he banished maybe, Carol was to abandon No, no, no. Maybe maybe something them. happens. Maybe he runs into the governor. Or he's going to hit that horde. That massive horde. Yeah, maybe something like that happens. Oh, yeah. Or he could run into the governor. Right. Absolutely. And then maybe... He'll just, like, yeah. disappear for, like, We might never episodes. see Carol again. We're, yeah, we're concentrating on Carol. She could no, be we, gone no, forever. No, we'll see her again. <laughs> He'll, uh, Rick will disappear for like two episodes and then they're like, hey man, we gotta go check out this horde and they go there, all the horde's dead yeah. and they find Rick in the middle of it like just, covered, yes. drenched in blood he's like <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> that's it yes. that would be that'd awesome be end of the season I'd be upset that we didn't end see what happened but it would be awesome nonetheless <laughs> oh, uh, how many episodes is this season? well, I don't, I'm not sure what they usually 53? do 53? 53 episodes a season. This is season one still. Oh I can't wait for this shit to end. Is this going to, because I was worried, is this going to overlap into our Game of Thrones discussions? No, I think it'll end uh, before that. I think Game of Thrones is usually end of March, very beginning of April, around okay. that time. Um, and uh, what they usually do is here, they, they're they going to take a break. There's going to be a mid-season finale. Then they're going to come back in like February. So then okay. they take a break for the holiday, basically. Um and then they come back, um, like in the new year, uh, for like so they it's like half and half usually. I don't know. That's what they've done in the past. I'm assuming they're going to do the same thing here. But all right. So how many good. episodes have there been so far? Four. Four. There's a four I think four. there's probably going to be four more. Okay. Right. How many episodes? Or is it thirteen episodes a season? They might do like six and six, or like six and seven, or something like that. <coughs> all right. So a little side story. But me and Boss. Oh, oh, awful uh, side story. So if you're not Let's interested get into this. in video games and zombie <laughs> video games, uh, you're not going to believe this. You can turn it off now. Please tune in next week. Uh, but for now, me and Boss had a little adventure. It was <laughs> adventure. We were horror. It was horrifying. October 31st, a game called No More Room in Hell was released uh. on Steam for free. <laughs> And I thought, oh, this is cool, you know, yeah, zombie survival. Fun. And we would used to play uh, World Z. World War Z? Dave's, or no, Day Z. Day Z. Oh, right, which is the best, we think is the best game ever. Except that for was all such the a fun game. Is that the simulator one? Right, That's yeah. A, okay. yeah. Like a simulated yeah. zombie apocalypse. And uh, so this was, uh, the thing about this game is like, it's based on realism. Like, right. there's no crosshairs. Uh, I thought it was terrible, by the way, the little bit that we played. Here's the that. thing. Me and B- Boss were just trying to play just me and him. Right. We set yes. up a Hamachi server. We got on Steam, we're making the servers, but there's a step in between... And we're on Skype, talking to each other. ...that we can't and... figure out. If anyone knows, because here's the thing, we don't want to play... <laughs> Here, hold on, hold on. Even get here's to really the, first, play? the first issue was, we thought we could just make a server and play together. Wasn't the case. So, no. So we needed Hamachi. My Hamachi didn't work, I needed to down, uninstall and load it again. Took a while. And then, God. somehow... My my mic just breaks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that Stops was the best working. part. He could he <laughs> could hear me, but I couldn't hear him. I never oh, use no. it. It's been working fine. Do you have but... headphones for your phone? Did your phone come with headphones? Yeah. Well, he then you switched so, to your phone. Right. So he I downloaded to my Skype. phone. Oh, okay. I had to okay. download Skype on my phone. Started talking through that instead. Oh my god. <laughs> so then we're not even trying to play the game yet. Yeah. <laughs> trying to communicate. Then, you haven't even played. <laughs> oh shit. So for, for the next hour. <laughs> I was looking at, okay, we have the Hamachi set, because you because when we used to play Minecraft, you just set up the Hamachi, mm-hmm. you put in the IP address, right, and it's connected. With yeah. this, you, through Steam, you have to put in this secondary, it's called listen server file, into a specific folder, which I couldn't find, and it oh wasn't God. working, so I'd finally... Be, I'd be fucking, I'd be like, I give, it this was is, horrible. I give up. Now, I know what you're thinking, <laughs> everyone's just thinking, like, why don't you just play on one of the online servers together? The reason being is we don't like to play with other people. It's more fun if it's just us. Uh, we just want it to be us. <laughs> don't you understand? It's not. Don't you understand? No, and this is what happened. The first, I was just, okay, I give How up. How are we going to train? You such wonderful people, though. Remember, we would listen, play WoW. Listen. We never would have met Mustache Ride. Right. <laughs> listen, so then I find... And big, Joe and Big Joe Balls. Big balls. <laughs> Joe Big Balls was Come great. On. We would have missed out on all those lovely characters, yeah. all those lovely people. <laughs> on the Dragon Ball server and back in 2000. Five, whenever we Honestly, used to play. I, yeah, oh my god, that's such a long time ago. <laughs> Almost ten years ago? Oh my wow. god. Hopefully one day they'll listen and be, hey, yeah, I was that idiot. Anyway. Oh, no big balls! <laughs> yeah. Joe Big Balls, if you're out there, 
let us know. We, lo- we love you. Angel. Give us a sign. <laughs> Mustache ride, if you're listening. <laughs> you're you're the best. Mustache ride, the level 15 mage. Yeah. <laughs> In the stockades. All right. Uh, so then I, I'm like, okay, I give up. So, you know what? Let's just join a public <laughs> server. And every single one I clicked, it says, can't join, not respond, can't join, not respond. Mm-hmm. So the first one finally lets us in. The first thing I hear is, <laughs> it's some foreign little kid screeching what? at the top of his lungs through the whole thing. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> the exact, th- the worst possible thing you could ever imagine. Yeah. Like, you know, people make fun of like Xbox Live yeah. because just little kids. Oh, shoot him. Right, right. Shoot him, shoot him. Uh, oh, him, you're, him oh you're gay. You're stupid. You're shoot gay. Him. I fuck your oh, mom. Yeah. It, was, it was pretty, yeah. it was pretty bad. Was so it, it was yeah, this. Little kids have terrible, you could just mute them, terrible mouths But still. You just mute them, but it's still, the thing about that game, when <laughs> when you die, you have to wait till everyone else dies too. Then the round starts I could get in the graphic error too, so I could see through walls. Yeah. Finally, we absurd. found an okay server where like right. everyone else was dead except us. So yes. everyone was just kind of there watching us play. No, they don't. I don't think they watch. They might go to somewhere else, and, or they, they might wait. I, don't I think know. they're just waiting. Some might wait because I think it's. Pretty, but yeah, then you walk around, and I mean, the uh, game was a little lackluster. But yes. I want to get back it into. Reminded it Reminded me of. Uh, what was the, oh, sorry. No what more was room that other shitty zombie game before um, Left 4 oh, yes, came yes. out. What was that? It was right before Left 4 Dead, and everyone would like hide in a room, and then you oh. would turn into a zombie. Day, uh, of, day of the days? No, 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 no. It wasn't it the called? one. Wasn't the one that was like the uh, one of the Call of Duty ones? Was it? No, 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 zombies no, no, or no. something. It's a really shitty zombie uh, game. I actually like that game one of the best because two, two hits and you're dead. That's why I liked it. It's oh funny. Oh god, what the fuck? And people, yes, you turn into a zombie and then you play as a zombie. Oh. Yeah. Oh man! And you and the thing I liked there were like thirty four people in there. Right? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Fuck. And you're all what fighting the hell for was resources. The name of that, game? that was a really cool. That was really cool, actually. Oh, I'm I like that. Game. Oh, I just thought, I almost remembered it. You could be a zombie or you could be a person, right? And you were well. Once that you that one, one you person could, would start as the zombie. Started. Oh, right, 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 He's right, the head right, right. zombie, and then each person he kills gets turned into a zombie. It's just a slow thing. Oh right, yeah, yeah zombie I, panic I, yeah, source. Yes, yes, zombie yes, panic that was, yes, that was it. Yeah, <laughs> I liked that game. That actually. was pretty good. Dude. It was, was it was scary. It was zombie scary. You're trying source. to run from yeah. them, and then they 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 rush at you. Left, you know? Then Left 4 Dead came out though, and that was. Uh, <laughs> I played that. that. I awesome. think I got over that 200 awesome. hours on that, and that's not even that much. Oh my god, I remember just playing. That was so much fun playing that. No, I have over 200 hours on just Left 4 Dead 2. I don't even know the first well, I one. Never, I, I never even got Left 4 Dead 2. It stopped getting challenging because you could just hide in the room with everybody. Yeah, but then they in- introduced the versus mode. That's where the real challenge. Because then now the z- here the special zombies are now people. Right. Uh, I mean that game now is ancient. Nah. People still play it, but it's an old game. But uh, not into it. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, so that was hell trying to play. That All right, so my game. plea to someone out there listening: <laughs> if you know how to set up a Hamachi server between two people on Steam playing No More Room in Hell. Just in case me and Boss ever want to try it and we're play not, together. I'm not gonna. Well, <laughs> just just let me know, just so I can, because I've been trying to figure it out. I can't get a straight answer. All right. So Goodbye. that was it. Goodbye.